Hello grade 8 students and welcome back to a new English lesson. Our lesson today is 4E Speak and Write Part 1 Student Book Page 55 Please follow me step by step. By the end of this lesson, guys, you will be able to Use five keywords and sentences correctly Locate specific information by responding to some comprehension questions properly Speak about an experience you've been through To start with, my great students, look at the following sentences and try to find out the main difference between them the first one, I usually go to school early. The second one, I didn't go to school yesterday. Please pause the video for a while, read the sentences again, and think of the difference between them. All right, as you see guys, in the first sentence, we notice that it's written in the present simple tense. I usually go in the second sentence the tense is past simple it's written in past simple tense I didn't go to school yesterday perfect the main difference is that the first sentence is written in present and the second one is in past good job Now, you should put the following sentences in the right columns. We've got four sentences. You should, read, you should read each one of them and decide whether to put the sentence in past simple or past progressive. Pause the video for a while, please. Do the task and get back when you're done. All right. Sentence number one. I finished my homework two hours ago. Excellent. Of course, this sentence is written in past simple. 2. They visited their grandfather three days ago. Wonderful. It's also written in past simple. And of course, we can notice that by looking at the verb finished ends in ed, the verb visited also ends in ed. The third one, they were watching a film at 7 o'clock yesterday morning. Of course, it's past progressive. And as you see, guys, we've used the auxiliary verb where and we've added ing to the main verb watch. The last one, he was writing a story at 10 o'clock last night. Of course, it's also past progressive. Good job, everyone. Now, you should answer the following questions. The first one, when was the first time you traveled abroad? Okay, you might say two years ago, three years ago, last year, whatever. The next one, where was it? You can say Jordan, Turkey, Oman. Third, how was it? You can say it was amazing. It was marvelous. It was perfect. It was good. Also, you can say, unfortunately, I had a bad experience. Now, open your student book, page 55. Look at this text. What do you think this type of text is? Do you think it's a story? It's an email? Perfect. Of course, this is a story. Good job. Now you should read out the text and try to get the main idea of it. Guys, look at the title, A Walk in the Rainforest. Please read the text carefully and get the main idea Pause the video for a while and get back when you're done, please. 
All right, guys. So what do you think the text is about? Excellent. It's about a boy who had a bad dream. Now let's have some comprehension questions related to the text. Why didn't Steve go to school yesterday? Good job, because he had a stomach ache. Next, what happened when Steve started shouting? Wonderful, more than 20 monkeys appeared. Did Steve stay calm? Of course, no, he fainted. Was Steve really in a rainforest? No, it was a dream. Good job, everyone. Okay, some more questions related to the text. What did he do to keep himself safe? Still, we're talking about Steve. What did Steve do to keep himself safe? Good job, he started walking away. How did he spend the morning? He spent the morning reading about rainforests. Where did he suddenly find himself? Right, in the rainforest. What had he read about monkeys? He had read that monkeys can attack humans. Great job, everyone. Now, have a look at this task. Here, you should read the story and answer the questions where it is possible, underline words, phrases in the story to justify your answers. You've got four questions in here. The first one, what tenses does the writer use and why? Two, what words does the writer use to link ideas? Three, what words does the writer use to describe feelings? Last one, what is the purpose of each paragraph? Guys, Go back to the text, read it, and try your best answering these four questions. All right, guys, let's answer the first one. What tenses does the writer use and why? The writer uses the following tenses, the past simple examples, didn't go, spent, started, closed, had thought, sat, wasn't, was etc and also he used the past progressive examples was was staring was taking we're making we use these tenses when we are telling or writing a story don't forget again we use past simple past progressive to speak or tell a story two what words does the writer use to link ideas? The answer the writer uses linking words expressing time such as after a while, immediately, as, then, and when. Also he has used contrast words such as however, but, and results, consequence, like the word, because third one the writer uses the following adjectives to describe Steve's feelings sleepy shocked relieved question four what is the purpose of each paragraph guys the first paragraph introduces the main character Steve and describes the setting and how it all started. Steve was at home and he fell asleep. The second paragraph describes what happened. Steve is in the rainforest and he finds himself face to face with a monkey. The third paragraph describes what happened in the end and makes a comment on Steve's feelings. It had all been a dream and Steve was relieved. Great job, everyone. All right, guys. Now you should underline some past tense examples 
which the writer uses in the text. Here you should read the text, underline as many past tense examples as you can. Pause the video please for a while, do the task and get back when you're done. All right, guys, some examples are excellent, didn't go, spent, started, closed, had, good job, thought, was, which is was, staring, sat, wasn't, and was. These are some of the past tense examples which the writer uses in the text. Great job everyone! Now you should underline some linking words which the writer uses in the text. Please pause the video for a while, do the task and get back when you're done. Alright everyone, first one is however, while, immediately, all of a sudden, good job, as, to his surprise, and when, great job everyone. Now underline some adjectives which the writer uses to describe Steve's feelings in the text. Pause the video for a while please. Find as many adjectives as you can and get back when you're done. All right, guys. The first one, good job, is sleepy. Second one, shocked. Last, relieved. Good job, everyone. Now you should use the following words in complete sentences. We've got five words in here. Traveled, enjoyed, suddenly, unexpected, and cold. You guys should put these words in complete sentences. Pause the video for a while, please. Do the task and get back when you're done. All right, the first one traveled we can say my family and i traveled to turkey two years ago second one enjoyed we can say i enjoyed a lot and had too much fun third one suddenly something unexpected happened four we can say, I decided to call for help. Great job, everyone. It's at the end of our lesson, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Wish you all the best.